Hi guys, it's me Faye here at Faye Desk and I just want to say happy 2017 and I hope you guys had an awesome uh, holiday season as this is my first video of the year and in this video I am going to be talking about uh, my attention jar and more specifically how I feel it doesn't work for me and how I'm uh, changing things up a little bit this year which I'm really excited about if you've been watching my channel for the last few years, you would have um, you would have seen that I every January I do I started to do an intentions jar, where I would have a specific jar and I'd put all of um, uh, different things, different intentions uh, that I wanted to um, manifest for the coming year. Well, I feel well. I saw I've noticed that every single year you'll notice. Uh, when it goes to the start of the next year, that I will empty out my intentions jar and I will go through everything and and usually I'm like, oh, I haven't done this, I haven't done that, and blah, 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 blah. And then I will basically do the same again. I'll write out all my intentions and stick them in the jar. And I've even sort of kept photos on my phone of my intentions to remind myself and stuff. But I've just felt like it really, really just hasn't worked worked for me and so right let's start by going through the jar and if you're new you'll see what I mean so this was my jar because I always sort of tend to decorate the front so this was the jar that I had last year and it just says my attention jar 2016 so open it up and I'm not looking forward to this as I know I probably haven't completed much on here right the first one be more involved in your witchy practices by updating Book of Shadows, celebrating Esbats and Sabbats, etc. Um, well, yeah, that didn't go too good. <laughs> um, really annoyingly, my battery is going to die, so I need to charge this, like, super quick, but I'll be back. This is so annoying. Hey, guys, I'm back again. My camera decided to die which was really annoying as I was literally just at the start of this video but anyway uh we where were we at oh yeah we were going through my intention jar weren't we and I think I'd only got through the first one yeah the being more involved in your witchy practices but updating book of shadows celebrating sabbats and espats etc I'll put this out there now that I didn't do too well with that <laughs> Um, with that, with that one, I just, I mean, being a witch is me, it is my everyday life, it is my everything, it's just, I mean, I'm sure all of you know that everyday life does seem to get in the way, like, it's not an excuse, but, uh, work, whether it be work, or children, or relationships, or whatever it is, like, there are some days where you just don't, where you just don't have time or energy to, don't know, cast spells or rituals or properly honour the Sabbaths or, I mean, or you're going through like a spiritual slump and you just feel like you just can't go there. So, yes, so let's move on before I get sidetracked on a different topic. So that didn't go well. Uh... Get Vince to do my fairy star and dream catcher tattoo. I didn't end up getting another tattoo last year, unfortunately. But on another note, uh, on a really sad note, Vince, my tattoo artist, uh, or he did my last tattoo with my sister, um, tattoo me and my sister had, and he's uh, known locally where I live, and he's done my uncle's tattoo before and stuff. He died suddenly. Um, the start of this week, which is really, really sad. It was really, like a really very shocked, sudden new say this young, and yeah, it was really sad. But um, expand my divin um, divination skills by learning tarot, loose leaf tea, runes, etc. No, I didn't get around to doing that by expanding my knowledge on those subjects, unfortunately. Uh, by 31st of December, uh. Add a goal weight on here, 
which I don't really feel comfortable sharing yet. But no, I didn't do that, unfortunately. Uh, increase my stamina by going to the gym four times a week and swimming one time a week. No, I'm still going to the gym, but not near as regularly as I should be. And I don't swim anymore, so I haven't really haven't done that. Start saving fifty pounds a month in my ISA account. I have been saving. I've been saving quite a bit, but there's life sort of um, expenses and stuff, and then I have to dip into it and blah. So I need to sort of get better at that this year. Uh, another one. Yeah, by 31st of June, I was supposed to have weighed a different weight as well. I didn't get that goal, unfortunately. Set time aside for my unique business. And that's sort of uh, a bit of a back burner. So I really need to change that. Uh, finish decorating last my last wall in my bedroom and get new furniture. Woohoo! That is one... <laughs> One intention that I actually did complete is that my room is officially finished. Yay! So that is one I actually did. Probably one of the only ones I did. Uh, uh, do a le join Let's Talk and do a wellness course. I haven't done that. Um, what is this one? Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> that was clever, wasn't it? And take up journaling and scrapbooking no I didn't do that unfortunately um, grow lavender on my windowsill I did actually grow lavender on my windowsill so I did do it sort of but here's the but part of it I went on holiday to stay with my dad in America for two weeks back in October and I forgot to tell my mom to look after my plant or to bring my plant downstairs. And by the time she, re she realised that my plant was upstairs, probably only about five days before I came back. So obviously it, it died and she was watering it and I tried water but it just didn't come back to life. Yeah, so I did do it until I went on holiday and then unfortunately she died. Um... Do one thing a month that pushes me outside my comfort zone. I haven't done one thing a month consistently every month to push myself outside my comfort zone. But I have done a couple of things last year that sort of did push me outside my comfort zone. So it's sort of like a, a little bit but not properly complete. So we've got two more. Uh, start planning a road trip to America in 2017. I did actually start doing that. Although I've pushed the date back to 2018 now, but I did actually start doing it. <laughs> so I did do that one. Make more time for friendships and develop new ones. Mm, I still need to work on that. I didn't properly do that. So that's it. Is my jar empty? And as you can see, I probably had about uh, maybe about 15 intentions or so. But I have sort of came to the realisation when I started thinking about it that actually intention jars or doing an intention jar this way really doesn't work for me and yeah and the reason and that's the reason why it doesn't work for me I think I just have loads of ideas of things I want to do think oh yeah I'll write them up put them in attention put them in the jar and then it just sort of get forgotten about and it just gets overwhelming and yeah and then it just makes you feel really bad because I know I haven't done anything and I'm just like oh but then I just end up in the same sort of routine again and again every year so I am definitely um changing it up this year and yeah so I've decided that I am not going to do intention jar I am going to do I've co came up with three um intentions or goals as I prefer to call them now um I've come up with three goals and I am going to write them down and if you watch my altar tour, which will probably actually probably be up after this video, there's a new little, uh, like a grey blue colour um, box on my altar that is a dream box and it's just a little drawer and pull it out. I'm going to put my three goals, write them on slips of paper and put them in there so they're on my altar and it's 
and hopefully I'll be able to manifest them and I'm also going to write them in my journal and my diary everywhere and just sort of always just sort of keep looking back on them and just don't just put them in a jar and forget about them until next year type thing so my three goals for this year are uh one uh probably my primary goal is my health and uh, my health my weight weight loss everything uh, that is my main focus this year that i i want to be where i want to be this time next year i don't want to be looking back and be in the same place um health wise that i am now so I'm probably going to do a series and some videos on that and um, probably like a plan and show you my plans and all that sort of thing and maybe we can help each other out if you have similar sort of goals to mine. My second one is my spirituality that is going to take a primary focus as well so my witchy path, uh, my YouTube channel, everything that sort of encompasses my spirituality. I'm going to make that a focus, a big focus this year. And then the third and final one is going to be my, I'm going to make my unique uh, makeup business a real focus of mine this year. Like I, like for me at the moment it is just a hobby but I would love to turn it into something more and I do really, really enjoy it. So I am going to push myself and, and really make time for that. So yeah, I would love to know what your, um, what, what your goals are and how you um, start the new year, like whether you do intentions or resolutions or how you do them or whatever. If you comment below, I'd love to know. And thanks very much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Blessed be.